no, Mary was not nice. Um, <laughs> she was. No, elaborate, please. I, I'm here for it. Um, earlier, it was said that um, it, it's theorized that Mary was abrasive and something else. And I said that those two words were not harsh enough and not advanced enough. Everyone, it's Katie from Without a Crystal Ball. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day. It's Thursday, January 12, 2023. I'm having one of those uh, days with my, I don't know, just getting together and getting ready. So it's voiceover day and what a day because last night there was quite a interview that took place on John Yates channel. Uh, John Yates is a blogger that's Fairly well known for his uh, coverage of 90 Day Fiance, but he sort of has been dipping into the Sister Wives content for a while now. And he had Peyton on his channel last night for a three hour interview, which was pretty eye opening and absolutely earth shattering in some ways, and then kind of predictable in other ways. But uh, this specific video is just gonna be about one part of the interview where they talked about Mary and some situations that went down when the kids were young and kind of the reason why uh, there is tenseness between Mary and the family. There was a lot of people being, there was a lot of illusion, like there was a lot of alluding to abrasive behavior by Mary, uh, how she had to have things a certain way. Uh, Christine called her unsafe. Uh, she said she never know she never knew which Mary she was gonna get. She was very he was very she was very unpredictable. She never knew which Mary she was gonna get. She wasn't a safe person. And a lot of people wondered like, what does safe mean? Is it a uh, safe emotionally? Is it safe physically? Well, the way that it's described by Peyton Brown is that this is all about physical safety and it has to do with the kids. Now, I had talked with you guys about some tweets that Madison had put out a couple years ago after she and Mary had had a fight. And Peyton actually brought this up in his conversation with John about how Maddie had spoken out about it a couple years ago, then she ended up deleting the tweets, then she deleted her Twitter altogether because she felt like, oh my gosh, I put that out into the universe. And he said that this was why he felt more comfortable actually speaking about it. He also revealed uh, that if he told the whole truth, the show would be over, which is um, pr pretty incredible. But let's uh, dive into today's topic of Peyton spills the beans about Mary and how she could end the show for good. Can you do me a huge favor before we get started though and give this video a thumbs up? Also, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you've not yet subscribed and turn those notifications on so you know when I go live or when new content loads. Also, make sure if you haven't, uh, share this video with some friends and if you have something to say, leave some comments below. I'm super excited to have so many of you here every single day. I am going to be sharing this video uh, clips with permission from John, who I actually let know that I was going to be talking about today. So uh, this was well into the first second hour of the interview. They actually talked about Mary several different times in the interview. Multiple times he kind of alluded to Mary being not the nicest person and how the kids don't have a very good relationship with her. He even talked about the catfishing situation, but let's talk about the specific issues that he dealt with as a child when it came to Mary and uh, the reasons why he says the kids don't get along with him. Get along with her. Abrasive is not enough of a word to explain what Mary was to a few of us children specifically. Does it move past verbal or? Oh, it moves so far past verbal. Verbal Not stopped more. existing. Insane. Oh, <laughs> I God. didn't say anything. Well, you didn't. No. no. Yeah, no, no I, didn't, I didn't say anything. I, I, I said words. All, all I said was words. I, I never said a specific word. I just said random you words. Didn't. No, you didn't. Together. 
<laughs> yeah, no. And I can't say all this because Maddie already came out with it years ago in a tweet before she deleted her Twitter. So Peyton said that it moved so far past verbal that it verbal didn't exist. So verbally uh, harsh on the children is one thing, but he says it went to the next level, which is in line with what he said were the tweets that Maddie made about Mary. And this actual fight between Maddie and Mary was related to Maddie uh, working on LuLaRoe. And if you're not familiar with what Maddie said, I will refresh your memory. So this is what she said. She said, there is nothing like dealing with an abusive human your whole life and finally having the freedom to not have anything to do with her. She then went on to say, you can't subtweet and not expect retaliation. Loyalty goes to those who are always kind. And then the final tweet was, try being scared of someone your whole life. And she always play, plays like she's the one hurting. She was a monster. Now she's attacking one of the few safety nets you had. No, check again. So that was after Mary had basically gone on a live and said that, you know, if you don't work hard or you don't treat this like a business, you're not working hard enough. It was like a dig at the members of uh, who was underneath her under on LuLaRoe. So Maddie actually did delete her Twitter not long after that. And all of those tweets are gone, but they have been archived and saved and they've never elaborated on it. They've only ever talked about the safety issues within the, um, within like calling her not a safe person. In another, uh, video, I actually talked to you guys about what Mary had to say. I actually talked to you about what Christine wrote about Mary in the book, Becoming Sister Wives, which was that she and Mary had a huge falling out when Mary got went too far with her kids. So apparently she had said that Mary was handling the discipline one day for her kids and she went way too far. The issue ended up actually crossing a line where Christine and Mary's relationship never recovered from it because of what she did to the kids. So there's been some alluding to the fact of this is what it's going to be or that, that she was doing things, but no one was outright saying it. But this is like literally him saying in not so many words that Mary was doing things that were hurting the kids. He also further expanded on that. And it comes out with like, not, not the full story, but a very, very important thing years ago. And then deleted Twitter because she's like, oh, I crap, crap. I, I, I let that out there. And you know what? It's already out there. So I, I can, I can, I can reiterate to what mary to what madison said about mary no we were never safe around her did your did your dad know that or not for several years not for many many okay you know what this one i can say this one i can say um so what he says is that he was never safe with mary ever and that for the longest time his dad had no idea what was going on with mary until robin got into the family and he will start beginning to talk about how, you know, Robin had experienced because of her past marriage of, you know, what the warning signs are and the specific behaviors that happen in these types of relationships and how, you know, when she left her first marriage, she sort of went to the exact opposite because Cody would never be physical with Robin. And apparently that was a key part in helping them. But in that same period where he's talking about how Mary wasn't safe with him, he then says, well, he would have never hit Robin. And then John says, well, did he hit anyone else? And then he literally says this about Cody. Dad was an amazing father. That was absolutely amazing. Yes, he paddled my bum several times. He flicked me on the mouth. Oh my God, how dare he? Yeah, he flicked me on the mouth several times because I would mouth off. Absolutely. He was a parent. He made sure to be an authority figure in my life. And he was a very, very good father when he was doing it. It's interesting that when he describes what happened with his dad and the discipline that he received from his dad with paddling and getting, you know, his mouth flicked by his dad, he praises his father for it and says that his dad was being an authoritarian figure in his life and he he was being a good father while he was doing that, which is kind of concerning because if that was okay for him, if what happened with his dad was his dad being a good father, 
I'm like, what was Mary doing that this is worse than that? Because to me, him even admitting that is bad. Like the Browns have never discussed using anything for corporal punishment in any regard with their kids. They've never broached the topic. It's something that has been so taboo with this family, but it's such a common part in these sects of polygamy that a lot of people were like, they're being so disingenuous because they're not talking about the child discipline. But he says that his dad was doing this. So that's now out of the bag, but it's still Mary that holds the brunt of his fear from childhood. Check it out. After having experienced negative relationship, she knew how to find other negative relationships. Robin probably saved several of our lives. Not definitely, but very maybe. Definitely saved the whole I want to go into thorough detail. I you know, really Robin came into the picture like, you know, how old were you when Robin came in? 12. 12. So that's, you know. So you're saying she she was able to recognize what was going on. Like the bad things that were happening. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm not I'm not confirming or denying anything. <laughs> so I, I'm real. I really would like to go into thorough detail. I would really, really, really love to go into thorough detail. And I'll, I'll make you a deal. So the implication here by Peyton is that once... Robin got out of her marriage with her first husband. She ended up in a friendship that was not healthy with Mary because of, you know, she was attracted to it. She was, it was familiar and she apparently was able to recognize what Mary was doing to the kids. And, uh, that helped wake up the parents' eyes, I guess, to who Mary was, which is really bizarre because I think they knew who Mary was at least you know, Janelle left for several years because of a fight with Mary that she said was so awful she had to get away from Mary. Christine described the the confrontation she had with Mary uh, about, you know, what Mary did to the kids. So I think it was known. I just maybe think that Cody didn't believe them. I'm not sure. He also did mention that, uh, you know, for the longest time, Mary was the favorite wife until things happened. So, you know, he's saying that like Robin saved my life and saved our lives several times, which makes you wonder like what was happening in this house that someone has to come in like Robin from the outside and you're saving children's lives. And meanwhile, I have to remind you that this is all happening while this TV show is going on. So what is happening to these kids behind the scenes that cameras are not filming and you know, obviously John and, and those that are interviewing him, their mouths are on the floor. They're like, what the heck did you just say? And Peyton basically says that he wants to talk about it, but he can't. And he explains further about why he can't talk about it. When, uh, during the last, uh, the very, very last episode of, of Sister Wives. Well, I don't know what state when, you're in. I will go. Where are you? When, I will find I'm you. Utah, I'm in Ogden. Uh, oh, during there we go. I have family in Ogden. Oh, fun! Uh, at, after the last episode of Sister Eyes airs, I will, I will it give you guys aired. legit dirt. It just aired. The, the, no, 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 no. The season. very there's, last episode. There's very last. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm, okay. I, when, when, it is still a uh, financial, it is still a financial uh, option for my parents. For all five of them. It is still a financial option for all five of my parents and many of my siblings. So I am not going to do anything that could possibly hurt the show. So what Peyton is saying is that whatever happened with Mary and the kids is so bad that if it was found out publicly, it would hurt the show and potentially cause the show to be canceled. That was what I got because he said the show is still a financial uh, opportunity for my family, the adults, and some of my siblings, though I don't believe any of his siblings are actually paid. But if you have information like that and something happened to you as a child and you're allowing Mary to go up on the public, and, I'm, and this is all alleged, obviously, and you're allowing Mary to go up publicly and play like she's the victim of everyone and constantly being hurt by everyone and she's the one that's, you know been hurt by Cody and, and, and everyone is over exaggerating and, and she's not this horrible person and she's, her narrative is out there 
And there's this dirt in the background that could potentially be so damning that the show could be ended. Is it really fair to the public to put up a presentation of a fake family like this and then have the truth come out afterwards that horrible things were happening behind the scenes for the kids? I was actually talking to John earlier about this and I said to him, it reminds me of the Duggars. It's like there's this big secret in the background and it took an arrest of Josh for the show to finally go off the air. Is it going to take an arrest of one of the sister wives to get the show off the air? There's been a lot of crimes by this family. Obviously, polygamy is a crime. Uh, there's been welfare fraud. There's been bankruptcy fraud. There's been, you know, moving around, credit debt, liens, tax problems. Cody has done a lot throughout these years that has been pretty, I mean, he's admitted to hiding money from the government. He takes, he, he, he literally like puts it all out there. I'm literally surprised he hasn't been arrested for anything at this point, but it's like, there's these big elephant in the room now of like, so you're telling us that Mary's done something so horribly to children that it could end the show. And we're going to just keep that until the end because it helps your family have money. Wow. Wow. Talk about a family that's willing to protect secrets so that they can have money. That's, that's, wow. What did Mary do? That's what I want to know. And does this make you think of Mary differently? Or do you think Peyton's exaggerating? Is this just an allegation by a child who doesn't really understand? I mean, and again, like it's worse. It has to be worse than what he was describing for his dad, right? So he said his dad used a paddle and used his fingers on his face. So it's worse than that. What, what, what was Mary doing if she was doing anything at all? Now you have Maddie saying something, an alluding by Christine, Janelle alluding to it, and now Peyton flat, in, flat out saying it, it went way past verbal. And Robin saved our lives. And this could end our show. So tell me what your thoughts are about this. And does this change your opinion of Mary? Or do you think this is just him being overdramatic? Tell me in the comments below. Bye, guys.